guys, welcome back to another math lesson with Hey Care Math and Science. This video will be about pie charts and divided bar graphs. And hopefully by the end of this lesson, we should all be able to draw and interpret a pie chart and also be able to draw and interpret a divided bar graph. So let's take a minute to pause this video here and write the learning intentions and success criteria down into our exercise books. All right, so let's start the lesson off by having a look at what these two charts or graphs are. So on the left, we have the pie chart and on the right, we have the divided bar graph. So a pie chart, as we can see on the left, consists of a circle divided into different sectors where the size of each sector indicates the proportion occupied for that category. The reason why it's called a pie chart is because it kind of looks like a pie split up into different pieces. On the right, the divided bar graph. A divided bar graph is a rectangle divided into different rectangles or bars where the size of each rectangle indicates the proportion of each category. So the key thing for the, both of these graphs or charts is the size of each section here. So if you have a look at both of them, it's pretty clear that sport, uh, sport is what this person enjoys doing and internet is what they spend the least time on. So let's have a go at a quick activity just to get a deep understanding of what pie charts are. So we have Rania, Chris, Christina and Ralph here. They are asked to record how they spend their time after school and they draw the following graph. So Rania is on the left, Christina in the middle and Ralph on the right. So let's take a minute in our exercise books to write, based on these graphs, a dis short description about each of the students in a few sentences. Remember, this will be uploaded onto Compass and we'll be checking as well, so please make sure you do this. And also justify your description, so that pretty much means give a reason why you gave that description for each of these students. So let's just pause the video here and just take a couple of minutes to write a description about each of these students here. Alright, so now that we know how to read and interpret a bar graph or pie chart, let's go through the key ideas of how to draw each one of these. So the first point is to calculate the size of each section of the graph, divide the value in a given category by the sum of all the category values, and this gives the category's proportion or fraction. So for a pie chart, we'll multiply each category's population or fraction by 360 degrees and draw a sector of that size. That's because 300, in a circle, 360 is the total. In a divided bar graph, multiply each category's proportion or fraction by the total width of the rectangle. So this one won't be 360, it will be depending on how big the rectangle is. And draw a rectangle of that size. Alright, so this will all make a bit more sense in the next few slides when we go through a couple of example questions. So let's have a go at this first one on the next slide. It says, on a particular Sunday, Sanjay measures the number of hours he spends on different activities. Represent the table as A, a pie chart, and B, a divided bar graph. So let's start with the pie, pie chart on the left here. And on this slide here, the key ideas, it says to draw a pie chart, multiply each category's population or fraction by 360 degrees and draw a sector of that size. So let's get a fraction for each of these first. So we need to find out the total uh, p pieces or parts or categories there are. So we have one hour here, one plus two is three, three plus four is seven, seven plus three is 10. So there's a total of 10 hours. So each of these will be out of 10. So this will be one out of 10, there will be two out of 10, that will be four out of 10, and that will be three out of 10. So if you look at this method here, we will get the fraction, let's start with that, one out of 10, and we will multiply it by 360 degrees. So we have one out of 10 times 360 over one, and that will give us 36 degrees. So if we're drawing a pie chart, this uh, for television, the sector that that would be 36 degrees. So if you're drawing that accurately, you will get a protractor uh, and draw a 36 degree piece right there. But since I don't have a protractor, if you do have a protractor, go and do that for the rest of them. I don't have a protractor on me right now, so I'm going to draw a pie or a circle and divide that up into 10 pieces as best as I can. I'll give that a go. Uh, no promises that'll be good. That's two pieces. That is six pieces. That's eight pieces and might not be equal, but just bear with me. That's 10 pieces there. All right, so I'm going to give TV one piece. I'll give it that one. I'll give that a blue shade. Let's go internet next. Internet, I'll go red. Let's go two hours. Let's label that as well. Internet. 
that's two pieces. Sport is four. Let's go yellow for that. That's sport. And homework is three. I'll give that another color. Let's go purple. That is homework. So this is roughly a very rough sketch of what your pie chart should look like. All right, so now let's have a go at part B here and that's how to draw a divided bar graph. So let's have a, go, uh, have a look at how to draw one again. And it says to draw a divided bar graph, multiply each category's proportion or fraction by the total width of the rectangle and draw a rectangle of that size. So let's say the total width is going to be 10 centimeters. So we would need to multiply that by 10 centimeters to get the length of each individual uh, length of the box. So we have 1 over 10 times 10 over 1. If you work that out, that will just give you 1 centimeter. So each category or each box length will be 1 centimeter. So if you want to be accurate, let's get a ruler and draw out television as 1 centimeter, internet as 2 centimeters, sport as 4 centimeters, and homework as 3 centimeters. I don't have a ruler on me at the moment. Well, I can't draw my screen with a ruler, so I'll divide this up into 10 boxes. But please do use a ruler if you have one. That's two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, now let's go with the same color scheme again. TV blue. That is TV there. Internet was red. Internet takes up two. Sport was yellow. Sport took up four. And homework was purple. Is that correct? One. I think I've got 11 boxes there. I'll just get rid of one. Yeah, I'll draw the outlines again. So this is roughly what your bar graph should look like. One box internet, uh, one box TV, two boxes internet, four boxes sport, and two boxes homework. All right, so now let's pause the video here and have a go at drawing these yourself. All right, welcome back guys. Now let's go through this one together. So let's start with the pie chart. So for both of these, the first step is to find out the total number of pieces it has. So we have five plus two, that gives you seven, plus three is 10. So there's a total of 10 hours. That means our pie chart and bar graph will be divided into 10 pieces. So if you want to be really accurate and use a compass, please make sure you do if you have one. That means we'll do five over 10 times 360 over one to get the exact degrees of how big that sector is. But since I don't have a compass and can't draw on my computer with that, I'm going to divide my pi into five pieces. I'll get it as close as possible to 10 exact pieces. So I should have said 10 there. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'll try and fit one more in. Let's try and, that's not very good. I'll draw it one more time, just bear with me. A circle there. That's eight, and I'll just add one there to make 10. All right, I'll start entertainment with blue. That's two, three, four, five. Entertainment, I'll just write E. Sport, let's go yellow. Sport was two. And homework was three, let's go purple. Give yourself a tick if you got that one correct. And let's go to question C. I'll just keep drawing in purple. So for this case, let's just say it's 10 centimeters long again. Once again, you do for entertainment, you will do five over 10 times 10 over one. That gives you five. So entertainment will take up five centimeters. So in this case, I need to draw out 10 boxes again. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. That should be 10 there. So let's go entertainment is five. One, two, three, four, five. E for entertainment. Sport was two. Sport, let's go red. 
two for sport. Just put an S there and homework. There was three. Let's go green this time. And that's homework. So if you got a bar chart that looks something like this, give yourself a tick. All right, so that brings us to the end of this statistics lesson. Hopefully by now you guys all know and can draw and interpret a pie chart and also can draw and interpret a divided bar graph. So once again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys all back online. Thank you.